transit in West Yorkshire. It's one of the few anomalies that still exists in the UK. By all accounts, a region as big as West Yorkshire, 2.325 million, should have some form of mass transit, but to this day, it still doesn't. The majority of journeys to work are completed by car, with a minority, 7%, being completed using public transport. While the issue of public transport used to be a quiet matter, it has now been pushed to the forefront of political agendas in both Leeds and Bradford, the main metropolitan cities within West Yorkshire. This sudden focus on public transport can be attributed to several reasons, the main one being the current issue and trend around the climate emergency, especially in the UK, with the exceptional goal legislated by the City Conservative Government to have the UK be net zero by 2050. Now to be clear, while this goal has been championed by the Conservative Government, the legislation that was passed can easily be overturned by the passage of a new bill in the House of Commons, though it is unlikely that this will happen due to the general political consensus around climate change, I'm just making it clear that just because it's been legislated, it's not superior to any other promise made by a politician. Leeds, the larger of the two cities in West Yorkshire, has tried and failed a lot. Like most cities that formed and grew during the Industrial Revolution, it had trams to take the tumultuous working class passengers to and from their factories. They, they wouldn't trot on for much longer, as motorists and their fancy fluid roads caused the trams to be torn up across the UK in the 50s and 60s, a definitive decision back then, now detrimental, denying decent cities decent transit as all the new roads started to clog up. The next 40 years were rather dull, Car culture dominated and interest in transit, of all things, was in a slump until the 1990s. The idea of reintroducing a tram network in Leeds captured the imagination of not just the transport enthusiasts, but the public as well. And not long after, politicians and their policies started to gather momentum. Until, in 2001, funding was approved by the government, then shelved, and then cancelled in 2007. But then, in 2012, 250 million for trolleybuses, then shelved, then scrapped, even though 70 million had already been spent on developing these schemes. Now, after several years, Leeds is getting another shot at mass transit. As part of the West Yorkshire Combined Authority's plan for mass transit, the entire region is set to have its mass transit developed. Yet the plans are relatively vague and only provide the aims, general routes and possible solutions rather than anything concrete to meet the issue, providing four possible solutions of advanced rapid transit via buses, light rail slash tram, tram train or ultralight rail. None of the routes or plans have been finalised, but the outline for phase one plans is for 2025, so we'll see where this goes. In my opinion, the most practical solution for mass transit in West Yorkshire is to provide more frequent and reliable services using the existing rail infrastructure using tram trains. This style of network would allow the exploitation of the current network while also being able to have new lines added to supplement the network in areas to increase capacity. In some areas, using the existing network obviously wouldn't work because of its small nature, and therefore I would suggest that new lines be created in these areas, as if the network in Leeds is different to that in Bradford, while both could coexist for passengers, for the entirety of West Yorkshire having a system that's unified in its style and gauge would be a lot better connect for connectivity than, a, than disconnected networks with different styles of transit in each area, as passengers would find the system hard to use overall. Overall, I find it disheartening that when developing the plan, the Combined Authority has focused on mass transit for the entire region. This is mainly because while having such links is a positive, I'm concerned that the metropolitan areas like Leeds and Bradford are not being focused on enough. When developing a mass transit system, they should be the first case study of success and implementation in the region, and I don't think funds should be spent on developing plans that are implemented a decades away. My concern comes from all the plans that have proceeded before this one and, the and it seems the glory of making a system in the planning phase seems to be the main one while the actual implementation slips away and away until the project eventually dies. And for the largest city in Western Europe without Manson transit system, let's hope it doesn't. Thanks for watching to the end, <laughs> well done and again thanks for watching.